Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we review an action RPG that I am new to the series, but actually bought the wrong one with Zon Wan 7. Developed by Taiwanese developer Softstar, I was amazed by a different series that I thought Zon Wan was from, The Legend of Sword and Fury 7, only on PC, where I was able to play the demo on Steam and wasn't really ready for the plunge into uh, into it as my PC was not yet able to handle the game with its beauty and next-gen upgrades. Lo and behold, another Taiwanese developer named Domo, who was also under the Soft Star Entertainment uh, banner, released their series, Zon Wan, to North America in 2021. Eerily similar was my thought, and at only $30, this was a steal over Steam, that was also optimized to play on the Xbox Series X. Too bad I was way wrong, as this game and series are very popular but completely different in terms of overall expectations. These two long-growing series in Taiwan and China has really pushed the boundaries when it comes to Eastern developers and had my eyebrow raised higher than originally expected. <laughs> Although I wish that this was The Legend of Sword and Fairies number 7, let's dive into the mistake that is Zan Wan and welcome the first Taiwanese action RPG to hit the US and see how it really stands up. Zan Wan 7 was developed by Domo and released by Maximum Games in 2021. The game takes place at the end of the Western Han Dynasty. Wan Mang, who is the region of Han, sees the Imperial Throne to establish the Xin Dynasty. The story has two main characters that are orphaned with only themselves to take care of and one another to survive. Although the story revolves more about taking care of one another, crisis after crisis comes up where you are plunged to help the people around them. You will not need to learn much here in terms of past iterations, as the game stands on its own, new story similar to likes of Final Fantasy being different in each version. The story is emotional and very deep in character development. I'm glad Maximum Games didn't do English voiceovers from the original. The original Chinese language in Mandarin do a fantastic job in getting the emotions of the character to feel and sound just right. Reading subtitles is a must in paying attention to the wonderful woven story here. And if you hate reading, then this isn't a journey for you. The visuals here are surprisingly well done, and I'm happy to say to myself that at times it's awesome, and then at other times, what happened here? You will go from a very excellent scenery to just lazy textures overall, making you think of this as a budgeted title for the PS4 and Xbox One that is now raised in resolution and performance. The look and feel of the main characters look fantastic, where normal NPCs all around the world could use some much more major help. The town's environments are nice, and so many different areas is where they bring you back into marveling at the design of the game. Problem here is, it isn't consistent throughout the game overall, with ugly textures especially on the ground. 
I felt that the only thing they optimized was raising a clear resolution and having a game run pretty much smoother than virtually no, with no issues at all. The gameplay is fun and probably the best part of the game next to the story. The battle events are fast and smooth and very responsive. The fighting is so much more fun, especially when trying out new moves you gain as you progress to become even stronger and stronger. You can upgrade your companions as well in making them the perfect side healer and or magic user as I usually stick to the physical fight and destroy the enemies in this type of style. On top of this, you can make and forge new weapons and armor to help create the strongest hero alive. I rarely felt the need to grind where I felt the grinding was in solving puzzles and forging the right powerful weapon. Although I do loathe puzzles, at times they will mercifully allow you to skip them as if you really figured it out to move on further and rather than rage quit. The game soundtrack is amazing, and I truly mean that. I was very surprised how well done the soundtrack was for this game as you wander the open world. You will hear some of the best instrumental sounds from a video game that I have seen in a very long time. I felt it was just right where I wanted to stop moving just to listen. game being completed in about 10 to 15 hours easily, I found myself playing the game so much more in long spurts because of the engrossing story and killing and testing my newfound forge powers with a new weapon or not. Forging the right armor and weapon can be all the difference in this one. Zon Wan Sword 7 gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its fun romp through a finely tuned action RPG with a story that keeps pushing you to see what's next. Although the inconsistent visuals and very short journey will leave you much to be desired, this will be a holdover as you wait for a sale at Steam to play Legend of Sword and Fairy 7 without all the next gen ray tracing if you can't just wait for the port on Xbox Series X or the PS5. That's it for this look at Zon Wan 7, a mistake purchase that did put a smile on my face with its combat. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.